Five, we are Team Six, Team Ivy Consulting, and our project is about bicycle facilities. My name is Mina, and my teammates are Cole, Ellie, Rodrigo, and Darrell. For this project, we decided to do this project on East Mission Bay Drive. As you can see on the picture on the right, it's the location of the street. From our site visit, on the see on the bottom pictures and the bottom pictures, and also from the video that the project, that road is currently being shared with for bicycles and vehicles and the bike route is a class three type and also on the both sides of the street cars can park on on the street which can make it difficult for bicycles to ride on this road because it gives them less space and therefore the cars behind them have to slow down and this might can cause some collisions and some traffic also from the site visit and looking we decided that it's best if we propose a class four separate back way for this project. Um, now I'm going to pass it out to Daryl. I will be covering traffic and crash data. San Diego is a large and ever-growing city. The number of single-person vehicles continues to grow, as does the overall population who choose to use other means of transportation, which includes bicycle use. Although due to the pandemic, traffic volumes across the city and the county of San Diego have decreased, it's beginning to ramp back up as vaccines become more available and the virus is more understood. Here we have the average annual daily traffic for Mission Bay Drive with just under 150,000 and just over 200,000 vehicles counted in the south and north directions respectively. Their travel way, which at times reduces from a four lane to a two lane road, sees a fair amount of traffic. Next, here's the average daily traffic volumes for East Mission Bay Drive from previous years. I know the numbers may seem low, but if I bring to your attention that this roadway is two lanes, one lane in each direction, combined with roadside parking and a Type 3 bike lane, it should be apparent that the need at a minimum for a new facility for cyclists is necessary. Bicycle fatalities have continued to increase uh, year after year in the state of California, increasing from 4.3% from 2012 to 2016 and with 144 in 2018. The amount of bicycle collisions along East Mission Bay Drive may seem minimal, but even one collision, or even worse, a fatality is too many. If the trends across the state of California tell us anything, it's just a matter of time before they begin to rise as well. Would you be willing to risk it all for a smooth ride down a scenic roadway given the current conditions? I know I wouldn't. And next, I will be handing it off to Rodrigo who will cover standards. The standards for the bikeway design will follow Caltrans Highway Design Manual, Chapter 1000. The design best suited for the project is the Class 4 bikeway that would improve the road safety and efficiency. The design speeds, stopping site distance, and lateral clearance can be found on Table 1003.1. The design criteria specifically for Class 4 bikeways can be found on the Highway Design Manual, Design Information Bulletin 89, where criteria such as vertical elements, separation width, bikeway width, and cross sections can be found. Now I'll hand it off to Ellie. Thank you, Rodrigo. I will now be discussing our proposal, which is a class four bikeway, also known as a cycle track. We believe that implementing a cycle track along East Mission Bay Drive from Mission Bay Fairground all the way to Claremont Drive is the best solution to fix this stretch of roadway. We will want to implement the cycle track in the dirt median between the freeway and the street, located east of East Mission Bay Drive. It will run about 7,200 feet, which is approximately the length of this particular stretch of roadway. We want to implement the cycle track here because it is the worst stretch of roadway for bicyclists to travel. We think it would do best in the dirt area featured on the side, as it is away from the roadway. This distance will ensure that cyclists will not have to worry about traveling vehicles, in addition to opening car doors being in their path. We are wanting to implement a cycle track similar to those featured in the Netherlands, as well as San Diego State University's campus. Since congestion is a very common issue on East Mission Bay Drive during the warmer days in San Diego, we are hoping that eliminating the shared bike link can help reduce congestion featured for both bicyclists and drivers. In addition, we are hoping that this cycle track will promote people to use bicycles as a more popular mode of transportation. Finally, we want to reduce the stress cyclists feel when sharing the street with the vehicles, so creating a path solely for bicyclists can reduce this stress. This will improve the ride experience for both vehicles and bicyclists during this stretch of roadway. I will now pass it off onto Cole to talk about the benefits of a cycle track. I'm gonna be talking about the benefits of a class four separated bikeway, also known as a cycle track. 
Cycle tracks promote bicycle use through providing safety, comfort, and ease of navigation for cyclists. Studies show that ridership rose an average of 75% on streets that implemented separated bike lanes. Biking is also a greener form of transportation due to the fact that it has zero emissions and it also results in fewer vehicle miles traveled. Using a separated bikeway results in the lowest level of traffic stress, which is LTS1, as you can see in the bottom right. Biking is also a healthier form of transportation and cycle tracks also improves the safety for all street users. Studies show that 30% less injuries occurred on streets that implemented separated bikeways. This is simply due to the fact that it separates bicycle traffic from vehicles and pedestrians. It is due to these numerous benefits, as well as the other items discussed in this presentation, that we propose the implementation of a cycle track or class four separated bikeway on East Mission Bay Drive.